So, throughout the so the story that I am going to be sharing with you guys today is my younger sister's birth story. Um, throughout the first couple months of my mother's pregnancy, she had no idea that she was even pregnant uh, because during the time she was on some type of uh, medication. So, so when she missed her period, she thought it was because of. Uh, because of the medication, so it wasn't until she started gaining weight that she got a little concerned and she realized that, and, and she got a little concerned and she thought that she like could be pregnant. So she got on the phone and she, and she called the clinic and she scheduled an appointment. And so she goes into the appointment and um, she gets examined, she gets the blood test and a urine test. And both of those tests come back as negative. And so they basically tell that she is not pregnant when she was actually four months into the pregnancy. And so, so yeah, so they tell us she's not pregnant and uh, weeks go by and she's noticing the, the weight gain. And, um, she, and one day she tries exercising and as she's exercising, she's moving around a lot. She's doing a lot of core workouts like sit-ups and planks and stuff. And um, at the end of her workout, she goes to lay down and uh, she's like pressing against her belly and she presses like right below her belly button and she felt this like weird movement. And she, and I remember like her being like super like freaked out about it. And she got on the phone immediately and she like scheduled another appointment. I think it was at a different clinic this time. And so she goes to the clinic and she gets re-examined and um, the results come back and they tell her that she's five months pregnant and they told her like why like why'd you wait this long and um, she was like well she was like, super confused and like shocked because they had told her a month before she she was not pregnant at all and um, so they give her the due date and they predicted the baby would be due from December 5th through the 24th. And, um, and so on Thursday, December 13th, my mom starts to experience uh, lower abdomen pain. And because of that, she couldn't walk. And um, she didn't think she would be going into labor because she was kind of hoping for the baby to uh, come on the 24th. And so uh, she goes to a clinic to get checked out. And she goes to the clinic to get checked out. And they tell her that she has to go to the hospital because of because she's so far into the pregnancy. And um and she goes to the hospital, so my dad drives her to the hospital and and uh that's where they tell her that she has to have emergency C section because the baby was positioned sideways and it was wrapped up between the umbilical cord. And um so around seven forty eight PM on December 13th, my little sister is born. And um, one thing we did not expect to happen throughout this whole thing was that she was actually born on the same day as my older brother. So they actually share the same birth date, just 15 years apart. And um, the three things that I went over this in, throughout this presentation were my mother's pregnancy, the complications, and one thing we did not expect to happen. And that concludes my presentation. All right, thank you, Joe.